America's newest governor has just completed his first 100 days in office, David Patterson of New York. And perhaps his greatest accomplishment is changing the way we all look at the disabled. The governor has only limited vision. He has to be 20 feet away from an object a person with perfect vision could see from 400 feet. But that didn't stop him from finding his way to the top. What do you think, Governor Patterson, is the greater milestone, becoming New York's first black governor or being its first legally blind governor? That's a very difficult question. We had a disabled governor before, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, but he basically tried to hide his disability. So I would say that being the first disabled governor who is able to display their disability is a real milestone. Uh, unless you're saying that a disabled person can't govern, we'll go to the next question. 54-year-old David Patterson governor. didn't set out to make history, though it's become something of a habit. At 31, he was elected to represent Harlem in the New York State Senate, becoming the youngest senator in Albany. But as lieutenant governor, he was essentially sitting on the sidelines. Lieutenant governor's job is to call the governor's mansion early in the morning and if he answers, then that's the end of your job for the day. But in a New York minute, everything can change. By midday on Monday, March 10th, the executive branch of the Empire State was embroiled in scandal. CBS2 is reporting the leader of New York State will soon be stepping down. We, of course, I came to work one day, and about an hour later, I knew that I would probably become governor. It, it, was, it was shocking, I, I must say. Shocking on several levels. His boss, Elliot Spitzer, resigned after being linked to a prostitution ring. I, David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. And soon after being sworn in, David Patterson realized life as governor would be a whole new ball game. For example, only one day on the job, Patterson disclosed that both he and his wife had extramarital affairs of their own. Two of us had thought that we might get divorced at one point, but we got back together. We did want to clear the air so that we could move on with our lives. The two percent cut across the board. And move on to problems like New York's four billion dollar deficit and partisan gridlock. But he'd also have one more very unique challenge. Other governors have pinned the superintendent themselves, but I don't want the superintendent to spend his first two weeks on disability, so I'm going to have... <laughs> I'm going to have his wife, Erlene, do the pinning for me. Patterson's been blind practically since birth, the result of an infection to his optic nerve. He has no vision at all in his left eye and only limited vision in his right. I'm blind, but only 29% of blind people are employed in our society. Of the deaf people in our society, only 10% have jobs. And yet, in both cases, our educational performance exceeds the national average in our society. That's a travesty. Well, what it means is that the cure for cancer probably is stuck of the, in the brain of a little deaf girl that lives somewhere in uh, our country. Growing up, his mother insisted that he attend public school and get no special treatment. She didn't even want him to learn Braille. She never wanted you to use a seeing eye dog or a cane? No. Why? I think that she wanted me to use my own ingenuity and creativity to try to be as adept at governing obstacles as possible. And I think that it created in me a belief that I could actually accomplish anything. Even if it's in unconventional ways. Now I'm going into voicemail. You have 13 new messages. He calls it the bat phone a voicemail system which serves as both his eyes and ears. Hello, Governor, this is Ben. This is our draft of the talking points for the property tax family event in Westchester County tomorrow. Since he can't read printed material, members of his staff leave messages every night to prepare him for the following day. Attendees will be 150 union leaders. The schedule for tomorrow, articles from magazines that some of my staff members thought were interesting, and a friend of mine who, ever since I became governor, she calls every morning at 6 a.m. and reads a Bible passage to me. And Patterson's ability to memorize what he hears is almost superhuman. 
The state police is not just an agency. The New York State Police, as opposed to other agencies, is more than just an agency. It is made up of it's people, people who, who risk, risk their, their lives, lives to save, the, to lives save the lives of others. How do you do it? Well, memory is associative. I remember that uh, I had to introduce someone, and uh, their initials were ABC. So I just thought about another network. Sorry. Whether he's squinting to sign legislation or sprinting to the finish of a five-mile run, Patterson wants not just New Yorkers but all Americans to know his disability won't slow him down. There are two disabilities. One is the physical disability. The other is how the individual feels about it. If you feel you can overcome your disability, your perception becomes reality. Let me reintroduce myself. I am David Patterson, and I am the governor of New York State. <laughs>